Hey guys, so today's December the 16th. Uh, we're out here at San Isabel National Park and it is cold outside. It is about, oh, I'd say 40. So, so, what I was going to say is I met this lovely couple tonight and they actually invited me over for dinner and I was really happy because the meat that I had in the fridge, which we bought about a week ago, uh, it was a non-GMO, not anything kind of meat. It was great, tasted great. Issue was, it went bad. So I was going to cook a burger tonight, and lo and behold, I smelled the meat, and it was rotten. So not anything to do with it, but while I was outside and smelled the meat, they actually invited me over for burgers, and I thought that was very lovely. Um, I'm not going to mention their names, but they were a very nice couple, a retired Border Patrol agent and a nice lady, and I was going to El Paso tomorrow, and they said El Paso is one of the roughest places you can go to. There are 360 different individual gangs, almost one per day. So they said, uh, go to the town before at about 35 minutes, it was La Cruzas, I think, La Cruzas something like that but they said around that area it's not very good there are bars on windows and so I should not go to El Paso to stay overnight during the day it's fine but the second the sun sets it's a very bad place so I am going to go to La Cruzas as they said and take the recommendation and I am going to camp out there for the night and hopefully get a paid spot because they said that would be the smartest decision in that kind of area Going through Texas, though, they said 98% uh, is privately owned land, so it's going to be kind of hard to find any kind of free camping like I was going to try to do here. San Isabel was a great campground. I actually very much enjoyed it. It was very nice. It's a very good fishing, hunting, and ATVing campground. Unfortunately, I don't have a fishing license. I don't have a hunting license, nor a riffle and I don't have an ATV nor motorcycle to go on any of their roads. So unfortunately for me, it was not the greatest, but I did go explore on the on the areas where trucks could go. Um, I messed up my bumper and license plate eh, a tiny bit. Uh, not too bad. My license plate and everything were already messed up a little bit, um, but you'll you'll definitely be able to notice my on my car. It's, it's not as good as it was. Anyway, um, they were a lovely couple and I had a great dinner with them, fellow Christians, and tomorrow I'm going to be going down the hill and I will get you a video of that because it sounded like uh, from someone at least I heard, at least one person, said that they really liked the uh, video segments where you could see where I was driving. Uh, so I'm going to continually do that until someone says, or multiple people say, that they no longer like those segments and I should take them out. Um, tomorrow we're going to try to get out of here by 11 or 10 so I'm going to get up early at about 7 and get all that done I did my first full boondocking experience out here unfortunately it was a paid campground which I was really trying not to do I wanted a fully non-paid campground uh, I went up the road a little bit on the 12 because right now I'm in San Isabel on the 422 which you can see on the motor vehicle use map um, but I went up and it's the 413 and the 413 actually has a bunch of really nice campgrounds made for trailers. They have nine full back-end spots that are 100% free. The only problem is I am here on a Saturday today. Yesterday was Friday when I came. I should have came Thursday or I should have come a day earlier because they said a lot of the people settle here on the weekends and they get here early on Friday like 9 a.m. early because they know how fast nine spots goes up. Uh, we are kind of out here in the neck of the woods, that's why I haven't really been posting anything, but as soon as I get back to the mainland, any kind of city where I have good Verizon signal, I will try to uh, upload a bunch of different videos and they will be timed so that I don't miss anything. I'm going to try to get better with that, unfortunately, on responsibility wise, I'm still running everything myself and as much as I'd love to upload videos, it's still very difficult because it was never a daily part of my life. 
Um, neither is Facebook, so I don't do regular posts there or anything. I'm trying to get into the habit of it. Um, so I'm going to try to set reminders to post where I am, what I'm doing, stuff like that. It'll be delayed uh, for safety reasons, but it will still be done. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video, which is probably the first thing is the road trip down. You'll see, I was a long way out in the middle of nowhere. And then we'll be on the 12 and we'll be continuing on to the 25 towards El Paso. Hey guys, here I am on the side of a ro on the side of the road yet again, and a coolant hose broke, and something uh, in the fuel system broke, and so I'm leaking diesel and getting five miles a gallon, so I'm leaking about a gallon every few minutes, um, and I'm also leaking a ton of coolant, which I can deal with the diesel uh, leaking, but I can't deal with the coolant leaking because I don't want to blow up my engine. I can put out a fire, I can't fix a seized engine. So I'm going to see if I can MacGyver this sucker back together and uh, see where we go from there because I have no coolant hoses, spare, or anything else. So got to figure that out. Oh, did I forget to mention that the coolant and the diesel actually got in the rear brakes. So I have no more rear brakes. Uh, well, the front left brake is no longer working, so I only have the front right brake working. And if I push hard enough to make them work, it will light the diesel that's on the rotors on fire. So, yay! Hey guys, here I am now in Truth or Consequences. It's in New Mexico, and... Ah, focus on my face. There we go. So, we're in Truth or Consequences. And man, am I tired. It is like 8.30 here. I was working on the car for about two hours in the middle of nowhere, about 50 miles from here that way, um, towards Colorado on the 25. Um, this car is pretty much run on prayers and duct tape and wishes. Uh, most of which is wishes, because prayer unfortunately does not seem to help 400,000 miles worth of wear. Uh, just a hose broke and it was 400,000 miles old and what can you do at that point? It just kind of eventually goes. Um, we're now about 1,500 miles from actually rolling over onto the 400,000 mile mark so I'm super happy about that. Um, it's, I think it's still leaking diesel, I'm not exactly sure. Tomorrow I will go to a... Um, uh, 
a, a, a car wash and pressure wash the engine bay so that I can tell if it's still wet um, because the only thing leaking on this engine was the diesel fuel and a little drip of oil. Um, but the oil is like a drip every thousand miles, so I haven't worried about that. Um, so we'll see where it goes from there, and hopefully this car will uh, make it all the way to Florida. And survive Texas. I'm really hoping it survives Texas.